the speed limit just quit from 120 km per hour to unlimited, but the guy in the 10-year-old black Mercedes-Benz C-Class diesel won't get the hell out of my way. We're heading westbound on the AA Tado Bahn, about 50 miles southeast of Munich. Spring is late, and the freezing rain hasn't let up for days. I'm driving a 2018 BMW M550 iX Drive, and it wants to eat. BMW says it's the quickest 5 Series sedan of all time, even out accelerating the F10 generation M5, which just ceased production. I flick the high beams again. The guy knows he should move over, he knows I have three times his horsepower, but he won't budge. In Germany you expect lane discipline. This guy must be from Ohio. In frustration I pull up tight to his tattered rear bumper. Finally, he begins to change lanes but first gives me a spray from his windshield washers in a final act of defiance. Maybe he's from New Jersey. It is alive. The BMW Sport Plus mode tightens the suspension, adds weight to its steering, and injects a serious dose of amphetamine into its powertrain. I engage it now and the throttle becomes hypersensitive, while the ZF8 speed automatic transmission, which has been tuned more aggressively for this application, holds gears longer and shifts harder. Now the car feels alive. With far more force than is required, I introduced the M550i's throttle pedal to its carpet. The automatic quickly drops to fourth gear and the twin-turbo 4.4-liter unleashes serious thrust along with a proper V8 soundtrack. To deliver more raucous noises in Sport Plus, as well as in Sport and DSC off-modes, the M Sport exhaust system that's specific to this model includes a butterfly valve, and opening the pipes sounds good, throaty with a nice burble. But it's not obnoxious and thankfully lacks the trendy manufactured puffs and bangs on the overruns. We're looking at you, Jaguar and Mercedes, BMW isn't holding to some purist line, though, it still pumps V8 roar into the cabin through the audio system. Not the Max M. M performance models slide between the M Sport packages available on models such as the 340i and 540i and all-out M cars like the M3 and M5. This portfolio of vehicles began in 2012 and now includes seven models in the US market, from the M240i coupe to the M760i. With the all-new M5 still a year away, this is as hot as the new 5 Series gets right now, and it's already on sale. Base price is $73,095, which makes it a performance bargain in the hot rod luxury sedan class. The Mercedes-AMG E63 and the Audi RS7 are far more powerful and also use all-wheel drive, but both wear six-figure prices. The all-wheel drive Mercedes-AMG E43 costs about the same as this M550i, but its twin-turbocharged V6 is weak by comparison. This is also the only V8-powered 5-series sedan currently available. Under the hood is basically the same aluminum block V8 that powered the previous generation F10 550i. Like that engine, the M550i's has two twin scroll turbochargers, direct injection, Valtronic variable intake valve lift, and double the nose variable intake and exhaust timing control. Power, however, has been increased by 11 horses, from 445 horsepower to 456 at 6000 revolutions per minute. The peak torque rating, 480 pounds to foot at just 1800 revolutions per minute, remains the same. That's 121 horsepower more than you get in the 6-cylinder powered 540i, yet it's more than 100 ponies shy of the outgoing M5. BMW says it will run from 0 to 60 miles per hour in just 3.9 seconds, which is almost a full second quicker than the company claims for the 540i, in which we clocked 4.7 seconds to 60 miles per hour, and a blink better than Munich's assertion for the departed M5, our test figure was 3.7 seconds. How'd that happen? Well, traction is up and weight is down, 